Congratulations on the win. What do you uh, make of that performance tonight? I think the you know the first game we played in Adelaide after having a kind of a 10 days before the game we were, we were conscious of you know coming out the right way and we did that tonight that was great you know we established an early lead and and you know led throughout the game and there was a good amount of runs in the game tonight you know cans were fantastic you know you exactly what you expect of a, a team that, you know, just dropped a couple of close ones at home and, um, you know, their fight and how relentless they were tonight was was uh, outstanding. And uh, we kept making runs and I thought, you know, Yudai Baba um, was was massive for us, you know, early in the fourth and established a good lead. Um, but again, they, they came back again. Um, you know, Machado made tough ones in the mid-range uh, today and then you know to see Mirko come off that last one open and and put that in um, you know we had to make some free throws and and play defense to win a game and um, I think it was good for us to kind of sort out where we were going down the stretch and I think um, you know tonight we tried to go to Scotty a little bit in the post you know Jock and Chris were both having great games as well so um, you know, we'll keep assessing, you know, what we did down the stretch, but, you know, we certainly didn't execute or score well enough in the last five minutes. Jock had another uh, monster performance. Um, where, where do you see his, also, where do you see his, uh, his limit? Yeah, you know, I thought when they made a run at us and he came in and in the first half and, you know, dropped two threes in a row, um, you know, then you put him down low and, um, you know, let him play at the post. And, you know, maybe we didn't go there enough tonight. You know, we had Cam in, in some foul trouble in the first couple of minutes and maybe, you know, we needed to explore that a little bit more with him tonight. But, you know, he's 7 of 10, you know, I think certainly there's... We we got to get that up to him probably getting another four or five you know attempts in the game and, and go to him a little bit more because he was you know he's pretty exceptional tonight but um, you know he's he just does so many things well for this team and and he's an absolute competitor um, we saw that in the fourth quarter. Joe was another who was outstanding probably um, may not get the the reps he probably deserves but eleven rebounds was massive uh, through the night at that end. What yeah, and he, he came in under a, a little bit of an injury cloud today, um, but he passed his fitness test and he said he was good to go. And, um, you know, that's two games in a row right now that he's come in in, in you know, 17 minutes and had double figure rebounds. So, um, you know, if we get that from him every night, and I know there's a couple of three balls that he had and, and one around the rim that, that, that he'd love to have back. And, um, you know, if he's going to be a double double or close to a double double for us every night, it's, you know, it's great production. And, um, him and Landell are uh, a pretty, you know, awesome combination. And you've got another, uh, I think it's a six-day turnaround uh, before a clash with the Phoenix. Uh, what, what areas do you focus on before before the turnaround? Yeah, we had we had our lapses tonight. Um, you know, and we had our lapses in execution. I, you know, I thought it was a physical game tonight. You know, I thought referees allowed a, a lot of contact, and and normally I really enjoy those types of games. And um, but I, hopefully, you know, that's consistent throughout and you know the year in the in the way that's refereed. And I think when both teams are getting, you know, under 20 fouls, uh, it's certainly a, a game for me. So how we, how we deal with the physicality of the game better to. Um, to get ourselves to the line a little bit more, um, you know, defensively, you know, on-ball defence, they really challenge you in a lot of areas. And so um, I think that's an area, certainly with the Phoenix, um, that they put you in a lot of on-ball screen situations. So I think we can continue to uh, improve in that area. That's all for me, thank you. Dean, it's Andrew Canyon from the NBL Pocket Podcast. Congratulations on the win. Cheers. I'm just wonder, wondering if you're still settling into your rotations. Um, do you feel like you've got that right yet? Are you still a work in progress? No, it really is a work in progress. Um, you know, we kind of went in with a bit of a plan and we changed it at, at different points in the game tonight. Um, you know, and I think we will. We've, we're still... Um, Playing with different combinations at practice and uh, really looking at the lineups that work and at our usage about when we go at different targets in the game. Um, so yeah, 
a big work on, but again, you know, playing 10 guys and, you know, everybody playing and contributing is, is something that we still see as a strength of this group. So, you know, people are going to accept playing, you know, as a real high level guy playing uh, under 28 minutes. And if we get the effort and energy we need to, um, we should, those guys shouldn't be able to play too much more than that. Jack, Dean, nice win tonight. Uh, this is Joseph from the NBL Pocket Podcast. My question's for you, Dean. Um, JLA, he's very confident shooting the ball when he comes into the game. What's your direction to him when he steps on the floor? Joe, you know, the, the group's message to him is that he's one of the, you know, elite one-on-one -on -one players in this league. And um, so, you know, he's he's got a... He's got the the green light to go ahead and attack, and um, you know, I thought, yeah, they, I thought Bubba got him a couple of unbelievable three point ball, uh, three point attempts there. Um, and again, if he knocks those in and shows, you know, the package and the the dunk off a um, an out of bound end out of bounds play that we, we set up for him as well. If he gets those, and um, you know, I think you know his numbers would have been great, but. You know, um, there's times that he's still got to, if he sees two people coming, that he's got to still pass the basketball and, and make great reads. And I think that's an area of the game that he continues to improve on. And uh, Jack, question for you. That first game out, you look really settled in this one, shooting it really well. Did anything change confidence-wise coming into this one? Or was it something you saw differently on the floor that made you shoot it about quite well? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, um... For me, I think when in the first game, all the shots I got were great looks, and that was um, reiterated to me after the game. And you know, all the fellows are confident in my shot, and especially if I'm shooting good ones, you know, I'm not going to go one for six all the time. But you know, just came out here tonight, just trying to play hard, um, and yeah, found myself in some good spots, and yeah, just try to convert, and um, yeah, just happy to come out with the win. Thanks very much. That's all for me. I could just ask one more question, um, Jack. How have you found the transition to the NBL? Um, pretty smooth, honestly, considering the circumstances at hand. Um, you know, obviously with COVID and, and a long off season, you know, gave me some extra time to um, become acclimated. But honestly, I think that process was um, pretty smooth anyway, just because of uh, past years, me being able to come back and practice with the group in my college off season, and just having a level of, um, you know, comfort with with both the playing group and the staff. Um, so yeah, coming in um, now, you know, it's been a, a great transition and something that I've really enjoyed. And, you know, just finally happy that the games are starting to, to roll and um, we have an opportunity to come out and compete.